What's up guys, Tommy Mutchler here, your lazy agent. And did you know you can integrate ChatGPT with your Chime CRM and it's actually really easy? No? Good, because now you can watch my video on five ways to integrate ChatGPT with your Chime CRM. And honestly, it actually works with any CRM, but we're gonna focus on Chime because I use Chime and it's an awesome CRM. Although just know two of the ways I'm gonna show you how to use ChatGPT with Chime. They're a little bit more advanced, a little bit harder to do, so they're not as easy, but most of these are pretty easy to use. And once you learn how to integrate Chime in these five different ways, it'll probably give you a lot of other good ideas on how to integrate ChatGPT into whatever CRM you're using. Regardless, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Now the first and most obvious way to use the chat GBT inside of your Chime CRM is Chime's new blog writer. Chime actually did a direct integration with chat GBT to help you write blogs automatically. So inside of your Chime website, just go to your website. On the right hand side, you'll see an AI blog assistant and you can either have it write you a general blog or you can have it write a blog about a new listing that you have. We'll go ahead and do a general blog for now. We'll give it a title, add some additional information and we'll add some tags. Make this bad boy a long blog because short is lame. Hit generate. And while you wait for it to load, go ahead and get yourself a nice cup of coffee. Sip on it. Enjoy it. Sit back and relax while your AI writes out your brand new blog. And what do you know? It's done though. Holy cow. Does it not know how to like organize it? This is just a big blog of text. That's okay. We will fix it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit copy and I'm going to go to chatgpt.com, which is actually just chat.openai.com. And I am going to make this blog better. It's a really good starting point, but I want to fix some formatting issues and I want to make it a little bit more SEO friendly. So inside of ChatGPT, I'm going to give it a few commands here. First, I'm going to tell ChatGPT that I am including a blog down below and I would like to rewrite and reformat with headers, subheaders, and expand upon each point. Then I'm going to include a prompt to help with SEO where I'm going to tell ChatGPT to include backlinks or hyperlinks to any relevant content around the internet. This is just going to help with SEO stuff and include some links to other websites. Sites. Lastly, I'm going to tell it to optimize a little bit more around the keyword for Bellingham, Washington. Next, I'm going to add our blog and hit enter. Now, ChatGPT is gonna take a few minutes to write out our entire blog for us. As you can see, it's reformatting our blog in a much more coherent way with headers and subheaders. Although it's important to note that ChatGPT isn't always perfect and it looked like it forgot to include hyperlinks for my backlinks. So we're gonna have to make a correction here as soon as it's done writing. Actually, I take that back. It looks like it just didn't get to it. Now it's actually including some backlinks and hyperlinks for us, which are these links right here. And if I wanted to, I could definitely just ask it to include more. But for the sake of this, we're gonna go ahead and just just use this for our blog right now. Go ahead and paste that into our blog editor. As you can see, we have our hyperlinks for Chuckanut Brewery and Boundary Bay Brewery. We'll go ahead and clean up some of these titles and subtitles. Now, of course, you need some photos. A quick hack for you that I would recommend for finding photos is obviously take your own photos, but I also like going to Google reviews and screenshotting other people's photos of different places that they've taken photos of and import those into our blog. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and select one photo for our featured image. Hit add. We'll add it to a category. We'll do a living in Bellingham category. Now for SEO, again, we're going to use ChatGPT for some SEO stuff. Can you now give me 500 characters worth of metadata for this blog? Now it's going to give us some metadata for us to import into our blog. We'll get this we'll wait for ChatGPT to finish writing for us. We'll go ahead and copy that, paste that into our meta keywords. Now we're going to go ahead and ask it to write us a meta description. Looks beautiful. Let's copy and paste that in. Delete our first sentence and boom. Now let's go ahead and post our blog and take a look at it. Not bad at all. As you can see here, we have our hyperlinks and they actually work. The only thing I would do now is maybe add some more photos for each of these talking points. Now here's our second way to integrate ChatGPT with our Chime CRM. I'm, granted, it's a little bit cheating, just a little bit, but it's actually a really powerful tool that's gonna help you out a lot, especially with your website and your SEO content. What I mean by that is after this section, this is not a direct integration, but later down the road, the rest of the video, most of the content is gonna be direct integration with Chime and ChatGPT, but this one is a little bit different and that is optimizing content all over your website with with chat GPT. Now, for example, I like to do all the neighborhoods inside of our area. I actually get quite a few leads from just having all these neighborhoods created. Again, you just kind of batch created all of these. I wanna create more SEO content for them. So let's just go ahead and click on one. We'll click on Barkley here. And I want to optimize this section here to include some more information about Barkley. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask GPT to write this out for me. 
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and give this a good test run. So I'm just gonna ask it, can you write me a description? So again, we're gonna go ahead and tell ChatGPT what we wanted to do. Can you write me a description on the Barkley neighborhood, highlighting some amenities and why people might wanna move here? But remember, this is a description to optimize for SEO, so please use the following keywords. And enter. And bada boom, bada bing, that thing is perfect. We're gonna go ahead and save that and upload it into our website. Now, obviously this is just one page on our website, but I would go through and optimize your website as much as possible and make it as SEO friendly as possible by including as much relevant content. And again, relevant, make sure it's relevant content that people actually want to consume. That's very, very, very important. Don't just fill it up with crap. Actually put stuff on there that's gonna be helpful for people to use and you should rank a lot higher in Google and get a lot more leads. Now, our next form of automation is I'm gonna show you how to build your own chatbot inside of Facebook Messenger using chat. GPT. Now, as you know, Chime has this really awesome AI built into it where it will automatically talk to your leads for you on your behalf. It's awesome. I love it. Use it. It's great. But what if I told you you could build your own chatbot inside of Facebook Messenger using ChatGPT and Zapier and then have it schedule appointments for you on your behalf and import them into Chime? It's actually a pretty cool idea and I'm gonna show you how it works right now. Now you're gonna need a program called Zapier and if you don't know what Zapier is, it's actually a really cool program. It basically lets you connect any piece of software to another piece of software and automate basically any task that you can think of. Now the way this AI works is actually really, really cool. You're gonna need a Zapier account like I said before. I'm gonna use Facebook Messenger. You can use other accounts like email or LinkedIn or other sort of messaging accounts that you can think of. I don't really know. We're gonna use Facebook for this example. And the way Zapier works is it works off of a trigger system. So when I get a new Facebook message to my Facebook page, I want it to trigger a new zap inside of Zapier. Then once that happens, I want it to send a prompt to ChatGPT, also known as OpenAI. So if you don't already have a ChatGPT account, go to openai.com and sign up for one. It's completely free. And once you do that, you'll be then be able to connect your OpenAI account to Zapier. If you get lost, don't worry. There's really easy instructions that you can follow on how to connect your account. But once you do that, you're going to want to trigger OpenAI, again, ChatGPT, and you're going to want to select send prompt. Once you do that, you hit continue, sign into your account like we just talked about. If you follow my instructions, it'll work, I promise. Under models, there's a thousand different models. You want to make sure you select text DaVinci 003. As you can see, there's a bunch of them. One is even called chat GPT, chat GPT 3.5 turbo. These will not work. you got to select text DaVinci 003. Got it? Good. Then we give it its prompt. We're basically going to tell it the below text is a message from Facebook Messenger. It's for my real estate business page. I need you to write a short response addressing their question. Then we need to send ChatGPT a prompt. So basically, we're going to tell it, hey, we're connected to Facebook Messenger for my real estate business page. I need you to write a response to whatever messages come in. And then I need you to attempt to schedule a consultation with them by telling them to take a look at my calendar and book an appointment with me. And in case you didn't know, you can go to Chime, click on the calendar link. You actually have like a custom meeting link right here where people can basically book a time with you to meet and talk with you about their home goals. We'll take that link and we'll paste it in. Remember, ChatGPT needs to be able to see the message that we sent them. So we gotta make sure we select insert data. We'll scroll down to our message, which is our test message here is gonna be hello world. Whatever they respond with is gonna be their message. We're not gonna mess with any of these settings. We're just gonna leave them the way they are right now. Hit continue, test our action. Hit continue. We're then gonna select Facebook again, but this time it's gonna send a message instead of receive a message. So it's gonna be an action instead of a trigger. We'll make sure to hit send message from page. Select our account. Make sure we add our recipient's ID. So that's gonna be from our first message. So insert data, select our message. Again, for insert data, we're gonna select our chat GPT prompt. Hit continue. Hit publish and turn on. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and test send ourselves a message and see how it works. Zap alert error, what the hell is this freaking? You can only send an automated message to the user with a PSID number of blah, 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 blah. Okay, blah, 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 within 24 hours of them getting your, okay, I don't know why this is, this is not working. This should be working. Apparently this doesn't work, but I bet this does work with other messaging apps like LinkedIn and other sites like that. Okay, this doesn't work for some reason. I don't know why it was working the other, other day, so I don't know why I'm getting this message code. All I could say is try it out, see what happens. Just for reference, just so you can see how it works, if I were to test this, 
You can see this is that message I sent earlier. This is the response ChatGPT came up with, which was actually really good. But for some reason, Facebook's being a stinky dinky today. Who the hell says stinky dinky? Me, I guess. Now don't worry, the rest of the automation in this video does actually work. We'll get to it now. We'll show you. We'll show you how it works. Although for Facebook, you get the idea. Once you get Facebook working, it'll obviously work really, really well. So I actually built something very similar inside of Zapier, where I built my own email assistant to actually help me follow up with leads faster. Here's how. So again, for our trigger, we're gonna have a new email from Gmail come in. Now this is my main business account, so only leads ever email me at this email address. When they email me, I'm gonna of course send that email to JetGPT with this prompt. Now again, make sure you select TextDaVinci003. If you ever use ChatGPT and Zapier, always make sure you use TextDaVinci003. But our prompt needed a lot more fine tuning. I actually spent an entire day trying to tune this message so it worked perfectly. And this actually works really, really well and this is what we got here i basically told the ai that i'm building a zapier automation where you are an email assistant you are helping me come up with email responses for all of my leads important information for you to know is that i'm a realtor and we first most importantly need to be focusing our attention on writing email responses that addresses our clients questions and whenever possible i would like to schedule a home buyer consultation i also told the ai to make sure it reads the entire email thread so it can be updated on any previous conversations that we've had with that lead and then i told the ai to be short, concise, and to the point. So it's not this big, weird, long, drawn out response that wastes everybody's time. Because sometimes, like me, the AI rambles a little bit. Then when we're done, I actually have the AI send me with Zapier again. And then when it's done, I actually have it email me a copy of its response. Now, of course, you can actually build an automation where ChatGPT will respond and email them back for you. But I want to make sure I proofread those messages before it sends out. So now here is an email of ChatGPT in action where it actually worked. Just make sure when you have it email yourself it's not the same email that you have it monitoring otherwise it will start talking to itself and it will email you a lot it'll have a full-on conversation with itself it gets kind of crazy but here is a response it had to a test lead that i got i just told the lead that i'm interested in this property and i had some questions about the details of the home it actually attempted to answer the questions about the home it did get some information wrong it's actually a two-bedroom house with a one bath so i don't know why it said that and there's actually no garage so it's just straight up lying right here so you might want to change some of these details out Again, this is why I don't want to fully automate this entire messaging system. But it did also try to schedule an appointment with the lead on my behalf. But for the most part, this is actually really cool. and helps me respond to emails a lot faster because all I have to do now is copy this email and paste it and send it to the lead, which makes going through my inbox a lot faster than doing it the old fashioned way. So again, if you wanted to build your own chatbot using email, you definitely could just be really careful that you're not sending out crazy messages to your leads. But also make sure you create your own dedicated email just for chat. GPT, if you were to build your own real estate bot similar to Chimes AI bot that text leads, you can build your own again with Zapier and ChatGPT to email and try and convert leads. Just be really careful if you do, because ChatGPT can get information wrong, especially about houses. This is actually something I'm testing right now. I actually hope to have a video for you guys really soon once I get it up and running. So I'll keep you posted. Now, our next ChatGPT Chime custom integration that we're going to build here in a second is really, really awesome. And I can't wait to share with you. But before you do, I do want to tell you about a really awesome free free course on how to use the Chime CRM to virtually never follow up again. Trust me, guys, I'm telling you, I have automated my entire follow-up process. Last year alone, I did $332,000 in GCI while only working part-time in real estate. And no, I don't have a real estate team at all. I actually did it all myself, but I did basically nothing to generate leads. I didn't waste time cold calling, generating leads, or virtually any time nurturing or following up with these leads. So if you want an in-depth course on how to use the Chime CRM and to learn how to never follow up again for free, check it out on my website, thelazyagent.com or the link down in the description. Now, again, we're back to Zapier with some really crazy automation for ChatGPT that you're really gonna like. This is absolutely crazy. It's been a game changer for me recently when it comes to meeting with clients and taking notes. And that is because I've been able to use ChatGPT to automatically take notes of all my meetings with all my clients. It then summarizes those notes, who the client is, what they're looking for in a home, tells me A, who they are, what type of people they are, what are they like, how many kids do they have, tells me about their family, who they are as people. It also tells me what they are looking for in a house, what's really, really important to them. And then it's going to give me a set of action steps for both me and my clients. And the way this is going to work is I do buyer and seller consultations and I always do them over Google Meets or Zoom. Now, personally, I use Google Meets. I think Google Meets is better. It's free. It's awesome. Who doesn't like free? So if you use Google Meets or Zoom, it doesn't matter which software you use. They both work the same. I hit record on the meeting and I make sure I transcribe the meeting 
meeting. Really, really important. Transcribe your entire meeting. And then have a trigger inside of Zapier right here, where when a new document is found in a Google folder, which is going to be our Meets recording folder, so it's only when I have a Google Meets, it's going to transcribe our entire conversation and it's going to put it in a Google Docs. Once that Google Doc is connected, we send it to ChatGPT. And again, text DaVinci model 003. Make sure you select that model. I cannot stress that enough. I then tell it to do three things. Again, summarize who the buyers are, include their names, goals, activities, hobbies, lifestyle, important things like that. And then just summarize what they're looking for in a home, including price, location, timeline, features, and all the other important stuffs, along with action items. Then of course, I include the raw plain text file. Basically, that's just the entire file conversation into our meeting link. That sends it to ChatGPT. And then of course, I will then just email me a copy of those notes. Now, this is a really cool part. You can actually skip this part altogether. If you don't want to email yourself your copy, you just want to put these notes in Chime. This is how you do it. You have to make sure you have a Google Calendar event. And this is how you do it. Skip this section and you go to our next action is going to be find an event in Google Calendar. Now, again, when I do a buyer consultation, all these meetings get synced to my Google Calendar. Again, this does not matter if you're using a software like Chime's built-in calendar link, or I personally use Calendly. I think Calendly a really awesome software. It's free. Highly recommend it. Regardless, an event is going to be found inside of Google. And for our action step is we're looking for home buyer consultations that start today. And I don't have any consultations from today, but as you can see from a couple days ago, I had one. It actually found our consultation. And this is really important because we need to do this calendar event so we can find the client's email. I then use this tool called Formatted by Zapier to make sure I parse out the email out of this messaging. So I just have one email, not two emails. I then select Create a Lead in Chime. Now it's really important that you select create a lead instead of update a lead. Even if the lead's already in your CRM, you have to select create a lead. And that is because when you select create a lead, instead of updating a lead, which basically, honestly, it does the same thing. It's just gonna update the lead, doesn't even matter. But when you click create a lead, you're gonna get notes as one of your Zapier options, and guess what? And you could paste ChatGPT's output into your notes section, which then gets sent to our Chime CRM system, which is added to our notes for that lead. So as you can see, this is a really good way to take high quality notes completely effortlessly. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial on actually how to implement every single stage of this system, it is a little bit more complicated. I do have a really good in-depth tutorial right here that you can check out. Otherwise, make sure you get that free Chime course. It is killer. It'll definitely help you automate your entire follow-up. It is awesome. With that said, my name is Tommy Munchler, your lazy agent, and I will see you in the next one.